Hey guys, how are you? And I'm going to be doing my cancer story today. Sorry it took me so long. It's just been super hard with school and everything. Yes, I've started school already. <laughs> and, but here we go. So, um, the story was that when I was born, I had, like, a pencil dot. If you just, like, dot your pencil, that's how big it was. We didn't really notice it until a couple months, and it started getting bigger. And we were just like, it's probably just a pop blood vessel. But it wasn't. It wasn't even close. It's called, like, Himangaya or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. It took me a long time to just say it like that. But anyways, um, so when I was in third grade, my eyesight started getting very blurry. We're just like, maybe that's just because I need glasses. That's why I'm wearing glasses right now and because of my eye surgery. But the problem was that dot got super big. It started getting to, like, the color on your eye. Like, I have blue. Um, and it was kind of blurring my eyesight. So, after that, we got me glasses so I could see a little bit more better. And in third grade, um, at the board and my paper and everything. And then it started getting super worse that we had to go to an eye specialist. And they just said, it's a pop blood vessel, it'll go away. My dad argued with him. So he was like, go here, go here. We went to about 12 different doctors before we went to Omaha Children's Hospital for like cancer and everything and um and they're like okay well we're gonna take some pictures and everything so they took some pictures and well we went back and we went about five times before the sixth time we just went there for just four and we went to this one restaurant and it's like god was looking down on us because I kind of, like, fainted or something, and someone just walked by and caught me before I hit, before my head hit the ground, and we were, like, in one of those very high chairs, so it was kind of weird, and everything, and my, and we weren't even expecting it, so my dad, like, he couldn't, like, rush or, or anything, he was on the other side of the table, he wasn't, like, right by me or anything, so we thought God sent someone down and caught me, so I didn't, like, you know, like, had brain injury or anything. And then once we left, we found, like, a little thing on the ground. It was, like, a note that said, be humble and you will live. So all we were thinking about that note, and we were thinking, I'm going to make it. Because the doctor said, you have a 50 out of 50 of living. We didn't know because I I wasn't, like, the normal age to, um, like, have the enough power or anything to go through this and everything. Because it was a five-hour thing like a five hour surgery to get it off because it was super down and everything so what happened was we went there to see if they found anything and they said I was diagnosed with um hem- whatever it's called um eye cancer and we we just dropped and we knew it we just knew it since God did all that and since I fainted and I, my I started getting way more headaches than ever and I don't know. And so that night we had to go in. I got so many shots. I got an IV. I got, oh my gosh, it's hard to remember. I All I remember was passing out. And the next thing I know is that the TV's on and my grandma's rubbing my head like, it's okay, don't worry, they're almost there. We're almost done with this. They just have to go into the like surgery room. And I said, wait, where am I? We don't know. We're in the hospital. You were diagnosed with cancer, if you did not realize. And I said, I remember that part, but weren't we going to a hotel? You fell asleep in the car, and you just slept through. So we just, your dad carried you over here since it was right across the street and everything. And I was like, okay. So then once I woke up, I had to get in my nightgown and everything and five minutes after I woke up they were poking me with needles and everything they already got my IV in and everything so that was kind of easy and so what happened after that was they rushed they literally put up the metal bars and they got my IV bag and everything and 
wheeling me to the surgery room. It was very scary for me. I started hiding under the warm, comfy blankets. I remember that. And the doctors are just like, where is she? Is she did she jump out? Is she running or something? No, she's under the blankets with the stuffed animal. They were like, don't drop it. It's our favorite one. And they were like, we won't. And then I remember after that, they were like, okay, so we're going to put this one thing on you. Actually, I still have it. It's very, very small. Um, It used to be about, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know. It kind of still fits me. I mean, you could see it doesn't really fit me that much. But I got the orange one. And um, then after that, the last thing I heard from them was, you'll feel kind of, and then I was knocked out. I don't know how that fast. It, like, hooked me up on that thing for, like, one minute, and I was cold out. And then after that, it was... My grandma was like, that took you five hours. I thought it would take you like four or something. And I was like, well, it's kind of like cancer. So it'll take a long time to just get one thing removed. Plus, I had to pull some of that tissue up and then stitch me up and everything. Well, I spent the night there so like we could see if anything gone wrong. Yep, a stitch broke loose. So I had to go back into surgery. And we used the same thing so we didn't like you know, waste them and everything, and it was still good, so then I went back in, they had to stitch me up again, make sure everything was okay, and everything, it was dissolving, so, like, it would just fall out, and it wouldn't hurt me or nothing, so, um, then we got back in the room, and all I remember was all the lights were turned off, and I just saw blank, black, because I couldn't open my eyes, um, and what happened after that was, um, Everyone came in, like, my my grandma, my aunts, my uncles, my grandpa, my cousins, um, can't remember anyone else, um, uh, my dad, obviously, and, um, they were just giving me prizes and stuff and things for me to do when I was in, in school. Well, we, after that day, um, I spent the night there again. Then we packed up all of our things and head head home, and I was just bored. I mean, this isn't where I lived. I lived somewhere else. Like I said, this was in third grade, and now I'm going into seventh. So it was kind of a long time ago. That's why I can't really remember that much. Like I said, I think of happy things, not that sad thing that happened. But I was playing with all those toys and everything, and I got really good. They said I didn't have to do third grade over again because they felt really bad. And, I mean, I guess I've already learned all of it, they said. It was just a review and stuff that I missed. So that was kind of good. And I did ace the test, so that helped me get through. So now today, my eye's still doing good. As you can... Oh, it's this... No, yeah, it's this eye. As you can see, it kind of looks a little bit weird. But, yeah, that's my cancer story. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Bye. Oh yeah, like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or if you liked it. And bye.